Want to mix images and short video clips into one clean final video fully automated? In this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that using Bookily's Create a Slideshow feature. We use Make.com as our automation platform and run the video generation through the Bookily app behind the scenes. This automation is great for turning your photos and videos into quick, ready-to-share content. Perfect for product highlights, event recaps, travel stories, or even YouTube shorts and reels. No complex editing software needed, just your files, your cloud storage, and a few clicks. All right, let's begin by creating our automation in make.com. You can use any cloud storage provider for this scenario, but in this example, I'm using Google Drive. It's essential that your chosen cloud storage can generate a direct download link for your files. First, choose the Google Drive app, then select Search for Files. Pick the folder that contains your files. In my folder called Create a Slideshow, I have three files, two images, and one video. Under Retrieve, select Files and leave Search empty. Because I only have three files in my folder, I'll keep the default value of 10 for limit. Click Save to confirm. Next, select the JSON app and choose Aggregate to JSON. We use this module to prepare the data we want to send to bookily.com. Under Source Module, choose the previous Google Drive module. Let Make generate the necessary data structure automatically. Click Add, enter any name, then click Generate. The necessary JSON snippet is in the video description. Copy that snippet, paste it here, then click Generate and Save to confirm. At this point, a form appears with fields bookly.com needs. Under Asset Type, we need to define whether each file is an image or a video clip. To do this, we'll use a small function that checks the file type automatically. Here's how the function would sound if you read it out loud. If open bracket contains open bracket, the mime type field semicolon image closing bracket semicolon image semicolon video, closing bracket. Let me explain this function to you. If the mime type contains the word image, then the asset type will be set to image. Otherwise, it will be set to video. For the source, we need to enter the web content link. Just type web content link into the search bar and choose the corresponding field. You can also specify how long each scene should be shown. For videos, the full video length is used automatically. But for images, you'll need to set a duration manually. In this example, I'm using two seconds. Now let's move on to the effect field. If you want to add a zoom in effect to your images, here's how you can do it. I'll read the function out loud again. If open bracket contains open bracket, the mime type field, semicolon, image, closing bracket, semicolon, zoom underscore in, semicolon, closing bracket. Let me explain. If the mime type includes the word image, then we apply a zoom in effect. If not, we leave the field empty. Once that's done, click save. After that, choose the JSON app again, and this time select parse JSON. This module merges all the scenes into one list. You'll need a simple JSON snippet that looks like this. Open curly bracket, double quote, scenes, double quote, colon, JSON string, close curly bracket. Confirm the JSON string with save. Now let's run a test so the following modules can understand the output format. Click run once, ignore the warning, and then click run anyway. Once the test is complete, click on the number one to inspect the result. You should see an array with three scenes. Next, choose the bookly.com app and select create a slideshow. You can name your video however you like. Under resolution, pick the right format for your content. My media files are in horizontal format, so I'm selecting the horizontal HD resolution. There's also a field for a webhook URL if you want to trigger another automation afterward. In this case, we'll leave it empty. Now turn on mapping for scenes and link it to the scenes array from the parse JSON module. Once that's done, add the bookly.com module wait for video generation. This module pauses the automation until the video has been fully processed. Just enter the video ID from the previous step, then save everything, click Auto Align and save the entire scenario again. That's it. We can now test our scenario and see if everything works as expected. When the test is complete, you should get a successful response from Bookily.com. Once the video is fully rendered, Bookily.com gives you a lot of helpful data, like the video URL and the details of each scene. 
For example, under Asset URL, you'll find the thumbnail for each scene. To view the final video, log in to Bookily.com via Launch App, go to the Video section and click on your video to open its detail page. There, you'll find everything you need, like the URL to your video, all the scenes and options to download or preview the video. Let's take a look at the result. The video starts with our original video clip playing smoothly from beginning to end, exactly as it was uploaded, without any changes or effects. Now, the first image is shown with a smooth zoom-in effect. Right after that, the second image appears, using the same subtle zoom-in animation. And that's it. From pulling files directly from cloud storage to defining scene details like duration and effects, everything came together just as planned. No manual editing, no complex tools. A fully automated workflow that transforms your media into a finished video in just a few clicks. Next up, I'll show you how to generate an AI voiceover using Bookily's speech synthesis feature. And of course, we'll automate it with Make.com as well. If this helped, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who creates videos. Thanks for watching.